On the surface, it's hard to choose between Wix and Weebly. Both offer a drag-and-drop interface to build a website without a line of code. Both have very similar price plans. But we found that there are actually important differences. In today's video, we'll show you who should use Wix and who should use Weebly for their website. So, the first thing to note is that both Wix and Weebly have great-looking templates. It's easy to find one that fits your industry. Here is a Wix template for photographers. Here is one from Weebly that would be perfect for a restaurant. So, if we had to pick, we'd choose Wix because they have more templates and they generally look better. But when it comes to tweaking the design, Wix and Weebly have different philosophies. With Wix, you have complete freedom. You can add external fonts, you can add pictures and video animations in the background, and you can reposition elements wherever you like on the page. So, if you have a good eye for design and you know exactly what you want, Wix is a winner here. But there is one thing to mention. You might have to work on the mobile version of your site too. Some elements could look a bit out of whack on small screens like smartphones or tablets. With Weebly, it's a lot more structured. You can still move things around, but the layouts are on a grid. And the benefit, of course, is that the templates are already responsive. You have less freedom, but you can be certain your website will look good on any kind of screen. Finally, one last thing to mention here. Wix only lets you build websites with two sublevels of navigation. With Weebly, you can go as deep as you like, which is great if you want to create an online maze for your users. Just kidding. Please don't do that. Both services are pretty equal here. You can edit meta descriptions and titles, URL names, and 301 redirects. But if you're really focused on SEO, you will find some downsides. Weebly has a restricted use of headline tags. Wix lets you go from H1 to H6. But Wix doesn't let you edit all image alt attributes. For example, in image galleries, as you can see here. Also, Wix changes your image's file names to something cryptic like that. Not SEO friendly at all if you want to rank your images on Google. Wix is pretty good when it comes to e-commerce, but it has its shortcomings. Mainly because you can't edit the SEO settings of your product pages, and you can't automatically import a product list to save time. Problematic if you have 30 items or more to manually manage. Weebly lets you do both these things, so it should be a clear winner here. However, if you rely on offline payments, cash on collection for example, be careful. Weebly only supports online methods such as PayPal and Stripe. Here again, both offer the standard requirements for blogging. That includes tags, categories, text, images, and video, and more. But Weebly has a few advantages. Firstly, you can integrate the elements like slideshows, surveys, or products from a store. Secondly, their editor is a bit more intuitive and easy to use. So, with these differences in mind, here is our recommendation. If you have an eye for design or you target a specific industry, then Wix is a very good solution. They have the perfect templates for hotels, B&Bs, or restaurants. They also offer great solutions for musicians, photographers, and creatives. Weebly is better for bloggers and people who want to create online stores. And in general, they have more options and features for complex websites, especially with the unlimited levels of navigation and e-commerce options. So, hopefully, this should give you a clearer idea. And don't forget, we have an in-depth review of Wix versus Weebly on our website. You'll also find full comparative tables of various builders, including WordPress and Shopify. Thanks for watching.